Hi, I'm Kylie Matu. Welcome to Wealthy Millionaire. Today I'm going to show you exactly what NFTs are, also known as non-fungible tokens. But first a disclaimer, I'm not a broker or an agent. Always be sure to consult with a professional before making any financial decisions. Here's a great saying by Gary Vee. The first internet collected information, the second rendition of the internet created the framework for communication, and the third evolution of the web, it's NFTs, will capture the consumerization of assets and the stakes are high. In today's world, Gary Vee is one of the most prolific serial entrepreneurs in America. He made his first million dollars when he was just 31 years old and has never looked back since. This year will be no different as we look at what might happen with NFTs. As they say, nothing is more exciting or bewildering than an idea whose time has come. So what are NFTs? Nothing is as exciting and bewildering this year as NFTs. When we look at things like CryptoKitties, CryptoPunks, or the $66 million NFT by Beeple, it's an attractive new thing to look at and invest into. After all, you could become an NFT accidental millionaire. NFT stands for non-fungible token. What does this mean? Well, fungible, it means if two things are fungible, it means they are virtually or completely identical and can be exchanged for one another. Some examples, the dollar, Bitcoin, etc. Or what about non-fungible? Imagine if I drew a stick figure of a man and then you drew one. Now we decide to sell our drawings and we could exchange them. But aside from a one-to-one -one trade agreed upon by both of us, there's no guarantee that they are interchangeable with each other or other drawings. Technically, the drawings are unique from anything else on earth. The paper, the lines on it, and everything else down the molecules are unique, technically. Non-fungible means the token can't be exchanged equally for another NFT. Each NFT is completely unique with its own address on a blockchain, just like our drawings. Still, most people don't have time to reduce things that far. So when it comes to digital art, how do we verify originality when a file can simply be copied? And how do we tell the difference between two identical digital works of art? So how do I know that your stick figure made in paint is the original and mine isn't? How do NFTs solve this? Well, we enter the blockchain. So let's take a look at what a blockchain is. Picture a database and a spreadsheet. A spreadsheet stores data in one file, sometimes on one or more computers. Databases are centralized computers where multiple other computers access query at the same time. A blockchain is a different type of database. It puts data in blocks and once one block is filled up, a new block is made in chronological order. No block can be changed without altering every block after it. This makes blockchain decentral and immutable, meaning it can't be changed. A copy of each blockchain is stored by every participant on the network and is updated constantly. Blockchains are a permanent public record of transactions. So when an NFT is made, it is minted into a blockchain. And when this happens, a piece of the art's digital signature is created in a blockchain ledger, creating its own unique address. This is what makes NFTs unique. NFTs are just the individual pieces of collector items like baseball cards or works of art. Also, an NFT trading card can be made to represent physical objects in the real world, such as assets, like homes. Everyone on the network agrees in the originality of each minted NFT, guaranteeing ownership. Blockchains are immutable. This means that they can't be altered or changed without nearly impossible levels of difficulty. Rarity.tools is an excellent website to look at the latest upcoming NFT collections. NFT character collections like the Winter Bears are generated from a group of traits. And a program is used to randomize combinations, creating anywhere from 1 to over 10,000 unique characters. 
an initial drop is conducted when the NFT is released with a floor price in Ethereum. This is the initial price of the auction. And once the collection is all brought up, people can bid on each other's winter bears. Most floor prices are set at around 0.05 Ethereum, which is about $160 USD. And some winter bears list for a whopping price of 200 Ethereum. That's over $655,000 USD. Other NFTs are standalone, such as artworks. Blake Catherine, an LA-based artist, uses 3D images in a unique way to bring us her vibrant and classy NFT collections. So let's take a look at NFTs and video games. If art and collectibles aren't enough, it's getting even bigger. The metaverse is expanding and game developers have jumped on the NFT bandwagon like no other. Using crypto tokens and selling NFTs, companies are making games where players can earn real money via cryptocurrencies and buy, sell, trade NFTs in secondary marketplaces. Games like Axie Infinity and League of Kingdoms allows for the purchase and sales of items in the game that are NFTs, and their games are also feature land, which can be bought and sold in Ethereum on Marketplace. Some land goes for hundreds of Ethereum, like the Savannah plot in Axie Infinity's Marketplace. This is obviously a ridiculous price, but it goes to show you just how far the NFT rabbit hole goes. These NFT game shares are gaining massive popularity, especially in Southeast Asia markets. The future of gaming is now available. Play to earn an innovative way for video game players to own a part in the game that they play and have a stronger stake in its success. Maybe the way that games are played tomorrow. It gets better. Players can stake by investing their tokens back into a game's economy, growing it ever more. As long as players play, and they will, adoption will increase and these games will grow. So where is the value in NFTs? Well, NFTs are the collective evolution of how we value art. And the decentral nature of the blockchain enables anyone to post a collection and monetize their following. Instagram artists previously unable to enter the art world are finding legends of fans, some of whom possess crypto in the vast quantities and want to become collectors. Now, these artists have made millions of dollars from their work. So in short, NFTs are making the art world more accessible. However, it's also greatly enriching the already successful. It's easy to monetize an already existing follower base and new artists need to invest by minting NFTs on the Ethereum network, paying a gas fee of around $200 USD. You don't need a massive investment to get into NFTs right now, but it's important to know it's not free to start. Many potential NFT collectors are signing up for MetaMask wallets, buying Ethereum and funding their wallets in order to buy and trade NFTs. Blockchain and NFTs are not going away, and they are evolving every single day. But some predict that NFTs, cryptocurrencies, tokens, and small contracts are the way of the future. In all likelihood, decentralized blockchain technology could be one of the premium investments of this decade. So here's a warning about NFTs. It's really important that you know what you're doing before investing into NFTs or trying to create your own. This is not an endorsement to purchase NFTs or cryptocurrencies. You need to use your discretion. Let's take a look at some frequently asked questions about NFTs. So what exactly is an NFT? The simple answer, a non-fungible token. It's one of a kind. Verifiable digital asset that can be exchanged between a creator and a buyer. Number two. What makes an NFT valuable? Well, NFTs are valuable because of the property it represents, which is something that exists in the digital world, like an original piece of art. The NFT itself doesn't necessarily contain the digital property, but points to its location on the blockchain. Number three, what's the connection between NFT and cryptocurrency? Well, NFTs aren't cryptocurrency, but they are built using technology similar to Ethereum and Bitcoin. Also like cryptocurrencies, NFTs exist on a blockchain, 
which verifies their unique identity and ownership. Number four, are NFTs the future of art and collectibles? Well, NFTs are great for artists, musicians, athletes, celebrities, because they offer a new and unique way to sell their art. Artists are also given royalties if sold to a new owner, and this allows for a new generation of collectors. Number five, what questions remain about NFTs? Well, NFT technology has been around since 2014. However, it's only now that NFTs have been put into the real world tests. Since NFTs run on a blockchain, the potential use cases go beyond art and collectibles. Use cases ranging from video games, fashion, to vehicles, real estate ownership. In theory, NFTs could offer efficiency and security through embedded smart contracts. However, the NFT market is still in its infancy and questions about rights, ownerships, and intellectual property still exist. I hope you enjoyed this session on NFTs. I'm Kylie Matu. Thank you for watching Wealthy Millionaire. And remember, the more you save, the more you earn.